race weekend of the BMW IBSF Bobsleigh and Skeleton World Cup Saturday morning and we are ready for the Bobsleigh action to start and after clear skies and lightning fast tracks yesterday the snow is here I don't think we're going to see any track records this morning well we start our action with the women's monobob competition Martin Haven and John Morgan ready to talk you through it and John these sleds are going to be a proper handful on Altenburg's tricky ice. Well, Martin, this is going to be very entertaining commentary for us because uh, we saw at last year's World Championships, this was a very dynamic presentation of this new sport. Cynthia Appia, the breakout rookie of the year last year for me in Monobob, she came out of nowhere and thrilled us with what she could do at the start. And she's learning to drive. And learning to drive on this track, well, this is an Innsbruck. This is a track I call too tough to tame, like Martinsville the, or Darlington and NASCAR and uh, oh, Labyrinths up here. Tough to keep the sled straight, but you want to do it up here, exit a nine, long straightaway into Chrysler. And these monobobs, they're lighter. Look at these spectacular pictures of this 360 degree whip around 11 12 two counter combination they softened that up we'll find out 13 uphill section into 14 in skeleton yesterday we saw some unbelievable action down here near the finish curve you can't relax any place on the track kelly humphreys the newly uh, how do I say, citizen of the United States. She just got her papers. She has the track record. Martin, it was exciting anytime they bring these small sleds to a bob track for me. Yes, it is. And the teams and the athletes are starting to get their head around these sleds. Last year, for most of our World Cup runners, they were really a whole new world. Without the weight of the extra athlete in the back, they are very skittish. What we've started to see is more and more drivers moving back from the front seat where they would be normally pressed up against the cowl further back in the sled to try and get a more even balance of the weight across both axles. So it's going to be interesting to see how that develops. It must be a very different driving experience. Imagine pushing the seat in your car, car almost right back to the back seat and then driving and, you know, everything seems so far away. That's going to take a little bit to get used to, but, you know... It's, it's now 11 weeks to Beijing, so they don't have much time to play with. Every single one of these races is vital. And in fact, that's part of the reason why we've only got 19 sleds in our field. A number of the drivers who were in Innsbruck for the first couple of weeks are in other tracks trying to earn points to qualify for the game. So Brianna Walker from Australia, for instance, one of the standouts of last year, not here. She's in Winterberg, where we'll go with World Cup next week because there are double Europa Cup races. She won one of them yesterday. So she's looking at the points hall rather than necessarily World Cup. Third BMW IBSF Women's Monobob World Series race of the season. We're in Altenburg in Germany. Lubov Czernik first off. Finished in 17th place in the World Championships. 26-year-old only having her third ever Monobob World Series race here. Well, she's the rabbit, you know, in Innsbruck. This was a very important uh, draw to be the first person down the track. Not here. Especially with the snow coming down. Uh, you know, the snow race. Uh, Martin, there's not a lot of covers on this track, so the snow is definitely going to pay play some attention yeah. to the final result. Well, you can see there's already some snow lying away from the racing line. The track workers will be busy sweeping. A little late there, coming off nine and zigzagging down the straight. Got a good exit off the Chrysler, John. You can see she's sitting quite a long way back from the front of the cow as well, which I don't think she was last week. Everybody really starting to figure these Look things these out. Things but, whoa. Ricochet rabbit. These things just have a mind their own. And this is track yep. at uh, time, 101.80. Well, that's pretty much similar to what she did at the World Championships last year, Martin. with these sleds. 
key with these sleds is to keep it clean because if you get a, a tap or a late exit, the thing just seesaws around the front axle. Take a look at this, first late off of the line. World. Martin, first team of the World Championships last year, she came down 101.80? No, no hold, excuse me, 102.18. So she's better now than she was wow. last year at the Worlds. And this wasn't a clean run. Yeah. She wasn't a long way up in the down. field in the world. So it was, that was her first ever drive in these sleds. Next up, Australia's Ashley Werner. Third World Cup start for her, in, or third, third Monobob World Series start for her as well. 29-year-old former brake woman. She's borrowing the Belgian sled, renting the Belgian sled this weekend. As the uh, other Aussie sleds are on their way. Well, one of them in Winterberg, the other one on its way to Lake Placid. That's where she'll be next week. North America's Cup racing triple race weekend so she'll get three monobob races and three women's bobsleigh races all about trying to get both girls qualified for australia with a chance to go to beijing the america's car north america's cup europa cup uh races are only half point the yep. better steer around that first curve but when you add three of them that's one and a half races so Plus, you take out Olympic champions, world champions, and all the others, and then you, particularly for the upcoming drivers, you're racing against your peers rather than against the established superstars. And especially small nations like Australia. Oh, yeah. uh, they don't really have the coaching and the setup and the mechanics. You know, they're on their own, and they work with everybody else to... Yeah. You know, they share a lot of resources, so it's easy to get on the plane and go. She'll be renting equipment over there. That's a good line there, 1800s back, yeah. though, Mark. She's bringing it back. She was 2600s away, 1500s back at the start. How close is she going to be? Bottom half of the track was really good. Yeah, but she was 1500s back from Lubov Chernik at the start. So she brought it back from 2600 out, out of nine to 400s back. Well, that is definitely a bridgeable gap. Her teammate, Brianna Walker, didn't finish the race last year at the World Championships here in Altenburg. Yeah. There was a few others that had some missing. Look at her steer around there. That's a no-no. That, you, you know, that, that is squaring things up, I think, is the expression. And, that, you know, the person who steers the most isn't the person that wins. But in these little small sleds, Martin, they still haven't figured them out. They're lighter. They handle differently. And you can't go messing around when you're borrowing somebody else's sled either. I guess you just have to race it as it is. Next up, Katty Bile, eighth in the World Championships. This is her seventh Monobob World Series race. Oh, big skid off one. She got two bronze medals last season. She was 14th and 19th in Innsbruck, though. Yeah, didn't have such a good weekend on her home track, you know. Uh... It's tough to, it's tough to, you know, focus on one or the other or both. Or, of course, yeah. the men have been doing it forever with two men and four men. But the women's, Bob, I mean, they're just starting to get where they're, they only have one race a weekend. No, they got two races a weekend. So, the old multitasking, Mark, yeah. she's got the lead Good as up. she should. Good clean exit off the Chrysler. Nice here. Carrying decent speed. What are we looking at? 113 at the bottom from Ashley Werner. And two tenths up, 61 at 60. Well, you would expect her. She was the highest placed of the world champions ship lineup in the field so far. Lots of help there to get the sled up to the top. The snow's definitely not helping their speed here. Well, well, much the less. Tell us it shows it all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very low. 11, through 11, 11 and 12, 12. Martin, they say they have fixed 11 12 to make it more accessible. I'm seeing that. Yeah. Well, it looks more like it here. Didn't look much more like it in the skeleton. Now, Jester Segeva of Russia next up. 
34 year old former brake woman was 12th in the world championships here she won the race in winterberg at the beginning of last season that's nice you see somebody with a little bit of an eye for detail the tape there on the D-rings with the Russian colours. Now, what it doesn't do, of course, is let you know whether or not they're crossed over. But there you go. Ninth and seventh in the last two races in Innsbruck, the first two this season. And she is one of the quickest starters in the field. A little delay, Martin. Yep, well, that'll be the sweeping for the snow. Protocol. So a few covered bits of the track here at the start area. Always get lots of athletes and coaches huddling up here, trying to stay warm. She's a head athlete, but good athlete at the front. We know that. Yeah. Has Bolts really in. The best start by far, by a quarter of a yeah. second. Well, start record is twin, is two tenths quicker than that, though, 22 hundreds quicker. Not sure how close we'll get to that with Cynthia Appiah and Melissa Lodholtz, we'll see. A lot of buyers. Yep, 52 hundreds. Well, you think 52 hundreds is safe? Not on this track. Yeah, late flop off nine, everybody's doing it. And this two-corner combination up here, they say they shave back the take on, allow you to get into 11. It, it looks a little higher, that turn. Yeah. Much better than she does here on this 14. That's perfect, 72. Martin, this is some run compared to Kathy Beer, who, who, Kathy Beer, who beat her convincingly. Yeah. 101.23 nine tenths. at there the Olympic, go. or at the Worlds. 1009. She was 12 last year. Martin, she's, she wow, with indeed. the snow track, she's four tenths better than her first year yep. of the Worlds last year. And that is how they are coming on with these sleds. And she, you can see the extra speed she's got is you don't yeah, have to go down and collect she the sleds. <laughs> all the way into the paddock. Yep. Well, that's a, a second mm, quicker than Kathy exit. Bile nearly. Exit of nine. Gets up a little high, she had to steer down. But yeah. Martin, she steered down out of here and corrected. Mm, that's probably her only mistake there. Yeah, anybody who comes straight down that, whether by luck or design, is having a very good run. Next up, as you said, John Morgan, one of the newest US citizens on the planet, Kelly Humphreys, finally got her citizenship in San Diego. Raced away after one day of training, raced back to, to drive the sled. Six monobob race for her. She was second and sixth in Innsbruck over the last couple of weeks. A 6.28 start, she had a 6.21 at the Worlds last year. Not a great performance last weekend in monobob for Kaylee. On this track last year, Martin, she proved she's got the best eyes and hands, and yep. there was no doubt. But, you know, Martin, there's one thing I can say. I bet you she might be a little jet lagged. What do you think? I'm no kidding. Well, she, as you say, she was the world champion last year. She had three Monobob World Series races, won all three. Last year, she was undefeated in the races she started. 109-1, best speed. And this is a track now. where she is going to drive herself firmly into contention, isn't it? Yeah, she was so the something. 10039, so she should break. She could break. She'll be under mark 60. Here. She yeah, could break she the will minute. Be... Ooh, not oh, quite. 23. But, uh... Six hundreds. Six hundreds well, off break her track she her, has... uh, first heat. Yeah. Off her track record, 5947. We're not going to get to that today, are we? Francesco Friedrich said last week that he and his crew are targeting the track records here. It's not going to happen in two man. This will be too humid today, even if it stops snowing. A little slower Again. at the start, which she's been a little slower at the start in the first races we saw in Innsbruck in the first two weeks in both the two-person sled and the monobob. But on a track of this length and this challenge, she proved yeah. it last year, double world champion. She's the leader. Yes. 
She leads after the first five sleds in our race. Six starter here in the Women's Monobob World Series race in Altenburg, Germany. Sixth place in the World Championships on this track in February for Kim Kilicki of Germany. Her seventh World Cup start. Two races in Innsbruck. She was 12th in both of them. Nothing like what she can do in a regular two-seater sled. 6.33, 400 slower than a World Championship start. There's a skid there. Martin in her bio. When we ask all the athletes what their favorite tracks are, this young German athlete says, she's only 24 years old, she says, I like Altenburg and Lake Placid. That tells me she, the bigger the challenge, better opportunity for Kim Kalicki. And these are great Nice lines. exit attitude, I Only 400 oh, back, got... second best speed. Sitting well back in the sled as well. Everybody is cottoning on to that. 1500s back. This is, looks for sure second. She was seventh, sixth yeah. last year at the Worlds. Only 2300s back. That's holding the line. Yeah, good lines. It's looking like a two seater sled. At high speed, they're much more stable, more pressure to give the athlete the grip. It's the early corners and the flat sections that are so hard. She was it makes a half of every track. 10056 last year. Here she is, 10024. I think the 10024. So, but last year, Martin, she was 2400s back at Kelly Humphreys after Heat One. Now she's 3300s back. Yeah. It's about numbers, Martin. You know, I live off those numbers, but. Uh, this, this was costly. This was, she had the second best yeah. speed here. She might have challenged Kaylee for best speed if not for this incorrect it's line. Kind of, it's kind of a lottery. If you touch the wall, if you just get away with it, or if it pings you across the track, it just depends on the vagaries of how the wall is built. So from Kim Kilicki to Melanie Hassler, 23 years old, four races last year, just off the podium. Her best result was fourth place. She had two eighth place finishes in Innsbruck over the last couple of weeks. And this is her seventh World Cup race. She had a top 10 finish in the World Championships. Her teammate Martina Fontenebre was ninth, she was 10th. And the changes to corner 11 are all about the take on. It's been widened a little from the left hand side as the driver sees it, means it's harder to get late into corner 11. Tom Delahunty saying you can't get on late. You, I bet you still can. <laughs> yeah. It's harder. It makes it, it makes it. Yeah, less of a less of a trip wire and more of a turn. Let's say. Ask Ask Connor Church about that. Connor tipped over there in yeah. training. <laughs> yeah. So, Melanie Hasler, let's see what she's got at the start. Fast start at the moment is a 6.14 from the Jester Sergeva. Wow. 6.20, wow. that's a good getaway. Harden, she started 6.32 in the first heat of the Worlds last year. That's impressive. And wow. This, uh, you know, that's a, you know, of course, Martin, she's had a really good season to date. You know it and I know it. Yep. Uh, including finished second over there in that little track in China. We're going to have a little race out in February. Go. She's coming on. She's a beach yeah. and indoor volleyball oh. player was her background. Beach volleyball back. to skeleton, yeah. <laughs> that's that's quite the that's quite the summer winter combo, isn't it? Six tens back, seventh best speed. She'll be hovering around somewhere where Catty Bile is behind that Jester Sergeva. I think she's gonna be out to uh about a minute 10, yeah, minute 17, 101.40. She was 101.10 about the first team of the world last year, Mark. So yeah. a couple of people have gone faster, a few have gone slower. I guess we well, judge again, how fast she's going. Nine. Yeah. The exit off nine is just killing you. If, if it doesn't go straight down the straight, then you can see how little speed she's got left. Great woman, Nadia Pasnak, helping with the sled at the bottom. Up here, a little tap there, and back end yeah. of the sled came up. This is up at the top into that omega curve, and 
It was helter-skelter for the skeleton sleds in there yesterday. Not so much for the bobsleds, but this is a big, you know, not too many people have come down that straightaway. Straight. And even no. our leader, Kaylee Humphreys, had some issues, but not as bad as that. Altenburg. Yeah. Once it's gone, it's gone. Well, we had Kaylee Humphreys for the USA. Next up, Alana Myers-Taylor. And uh, a disastrous World Championships for her. She ended up with a 15th place finish, but this year, first and first in Innsbruck. So she is undefeated so far this season. 6.05, 6.03 in the first heat of the World Championships last year. When she had, had a mishap, went crash, came back up, she finished yeah. 22nd. What a remarkable comeback she had, Mark. Yeah. She finished the race. Crashing both heat, sled coming back up. And you know, she had the 22nd, 9, 10, and 15 times. What a comeback. And it would have been so easy just to go, okay, I'm I'm done with this. I'm done. But I'm done. it's it's the Olympic Games next year, and so every single second you spend in the sled could be worth its weight in gold or silver or bronze. I'm and here. that is the attraction. Yeah, a little late there. Had to steer hard. Like this is about third or fourth. She's really started doing some tearing. Yep. Fourth, 7,200s off Kaylee Humphreys. Brian Scheimer looks on and wasn't a smooth drive. Well, I talked but to her last weekend after the race, John, about Altenburg. She said, yeah, I've really got a, a love-hate relationship with that track, but I've got to get it. And that's the deal. You know, you can't say, oh, I can't drive Altenburg or I don't like it. You've got to work on the weak points, haven't you? And that's what she's doing. Yeah, you know, Kaylee did this hit once, twice, and then Kaylee was straight from here on. Alana, that is cost her dearly. Yeah. This wasn't a good exit here, a little late, Martin. Now watch the back end of the sled here. She's way on the wrong side of 13. Hard steering there. That's where you lose a lot of speed. So we are halfway through our field of 19 sleds as we get to Melissa Lotholz of Canada. Seventh in the World Championships. She won a race in Winterberg last season, non-World Cup, and uh, third in Innsbruck. This year, though, fifth and 11th in Innsbruck over the last couple of weeks. You know, she's former brakeman up in the front seat. She's a... Uh... But on the back of many sleds of athletes in the field, she used to slide with Kelly Humphreys, won a lot of events with Kelly when Kelly was in Canada. Martin, uh, she's made a great stride. Yes, she is. And this might be a track that works a little better for her. The thing with Innsbruck is it is so well known and so short, you've got to be so precise. Here, it's a little bit, bit less about precision, a bit more about driving on your wits. And that's a good run down into the Chrysler, really? second best speed. Well. This is well done so far. Ooh, wrong side of that. Just look at that. It's, that's pretty forgiving there. Still 300s behind run. the leader. This is going to be a top three. Yeah, nice looking run from Melissa Lodholtz. She has got the back. feel, hasn't she? You know, you can't do this mechanically. It's like driving a race car. You've got to feel it. And if you don't feel it, you will never be able to drive a sled quickly. She has got the feel. She's happy with that. Eyes and hand. She's showing it. I mean, that run yeah. right there. She didn't compete in the China event. No results there. But Martin, uh, if she can do this on this track, this shows everybody that she's come a long way fast. And Watch on the wrong side of the straightaway there. In the old days, that would be uh, some helter-skelter into that 11-12. Well, she's still sitting very far forward in the sled. So I wonder whether they're going to start moving the athletes back there. So we've just seen Melissa Lott holds for Canada. What about Cynthia Appiah? Finished fifth in the World Championships. I mean, that was a massive, massive deal for both of the Canadian sliders to finish so strongly in a field 
that was not exactly light on world-class driving talent. Fourth and you know, fifth in Innsbruck. She's knocking on the door of a medal, isn't she, John? Yeah, she blew away the start. She had the best start in all four runs last, including the start record. And, uh, you know, she's, this is a coming out party here. She knows with her start that she can challenge here. And fifth last year, Martin. She had the best time of the third run and the third best time of the fourth run. Yeah. She would have had that both days. She would have meddled. Watch out for the start here. Start record is 5.92. How close do we get today? It's a little humid. 96. It might be slick. 96. 604. Well, that puts Alana Myers-Taylor, 6.05, very firmly into super competitive territory, doesn't it? Not bad for a 37-year-old mother of one. Pretty quiet steering so far. This is impressive. Here we go. Look at this. 3,800s up on Kaylee Humphreys, the world champion. This is a great line. This is it. Yep. That's fourth speed going to lose back. She's going to be the leader unless she makes a major mistake down here. And she Don't do that. Off Don't there. do that. 3,500. Still a good lead. Now, corner 14 is the final major hazard. Comes out She's going to be the leader. And by a margin over the world yeah, champion. 1,200. 1,200. Hey, any day Nine. you late lead Kaylee by a tenth, you're doing a great job. 60.14. The leader. That was yeah. a very very good run for an athlete who's probably got the least amount of trips than anybody in the field. She just keeps coming yeah. on. This was her coming out party last year, Martin. We were really impressed. And, and that's the great leveler about Monobob is that nobody has got a decade of experience. And so if you come in new, you're hardly any newer than the best of them. Flopped off of here. But she flopped, yeah. she didn't steer. Watch, no panic. Uh, two runners, straight. Right down the middle. Yeah, luck or Boy, judgment, she... either way, you got to take it, haven't you? Impressive. <laughs> Puffing like a racehorse. Cynthia Appiah leads from Kaylee Humphreys and Melissa Lotholtz. Three years ago, that would have been a top three for Canada. So 10 sleds down, next up Lauren Alter, bronze medalist in the World Championships on this track, the 23-year-old, third and second in Innsbruck. In all of her races in Bonnebob, she has been in the medals. Sixth in this competition. Actually, the third in this competition last year. 6.15 start, pretty much, she just got 3.17. Yeah, Martin, she should. Sixth on the China track, so. Three tenths back. We know she can drive. And these are very good lines. Yeah. Speed, fifth best speed. Four tenths back, that's not good. Look how far back she's sitting in the sled as well. Trying to get that balance. Maybe that's why the sled is a little more controlled at the rear. Oh, really high there. 13. Perfect, that's it. She's bringing it yeah. back, Mark. Good lines at the bottom. What are the top speeds, I bet? How far back yeah, in the line? Back. Third Second place. best speed in the bottom. Third yeah. place, 400 ahead of Melissa Lohost. 10 hundreds ahead of her teammate, Kalicki, but she beat Kalicki by 16 hundreds at the start. Yeah. Eighth. Impressive on the bottom part of the track right there, Mark. Definitely. Second best speed. She sure can drive, Lauren Alter. This, this mistake up top, I mean, you can't do that. And this out of the Bettis curve. Martin, that's why she had those deficient numbers up top, that mistake one to two. She cleans yeah. that up. She could definitely challenge. She's in Gets a podium position now and with lines with lines like that. Look at her lean. Now look at her lean. Look yeah. at that leaning. That's to get yeah. the sled off. <laughs> She's got bit. it all, hasn't she? She really Look does. Lean. I love that. Mary Amiamanka, the women's Olympic bobsleigh champion from 2018. Fourth place in the world's here. Five races last year, best of fourth place. She was 11th and 16th in Innsbruck, though. 
trying to get that body rock, leaning right back and then leaning into the sled to try and break that inertia. But Martin, she won that little race in China a month ago. Yeah. Fourth here at the World Championships last year. 633 start. It's pretty much what she did last year, but she had the top threes and five starts. I was impressed with that last year. Pretty smooth right there. Boy, she's a half second back already, Mark. Yeah. Well, so much of that comes from the start. She started 2,900 slower than Katie Humphreys. Yeah. Fifth best start in the first heat last year. Eighth best start here out of 12 sleds. Tells you how much these start have improved. Uh oh, she's a little late there. Oh, she's way off the pace mark. Yeah, fifth best speed. Still good lines. Maybe just a little too much control for Mariana Yamanka. She could have finished about eighth. And she is right behind Alana Myers Taylor. Alana is seventh. And Mariama is eighth. Alana beat her by 2,800s at the start, though. Yeah. And she is only uh, 1,200s behind Alana at the bottom. Pretty sloppy run, 11, 12. There's a couple different places they could. But you know, it's that Olympic track where she won. And mm -hmm. she won pretty convincingly. And that's the one that counts. By by eight hundredths, though, she won on, by over Melanie Hassler, the the upcoming Swiss driver. And here, this isn't this isn't friendly. Watch this. Tap. Oh, to the middle of the curve. In the old days, Martin, you couldn't do that. That curve eleven. It looks higher, Martin, the way it is. You know the take on. Yeah. You know, that's very forgiving. We've had two Canadian sleds down already. Here is our third, thirty-two-year-old Christine Dubrun. Finished in 16th in the World Championships. Three races in Monobob last year. Her best was a seventh place finish in Koenigsegg. She was seventh in the first race in Innsbruck. And she was fourth last weekend in the Monobob race. So really starting to dial herself in. And she wants to. Currently, the race being led by Cynthia Appiah. Melissa Lott Holtz of Canada in fourth place. And Martin, she so was those fourth, are their targets. On the, fourth on the China track. So her target is to be the best of the Canadians in points by the time they get to selection. She had very disappointed World Championships last year that she was Canada three. I'm sure she's thought about that all year because she really is the top Canadian female pilot. Look at the snow yeah. come in now, Martin. A smooth run up top is going to be absolutely critical to keep the speed out of four. She's behind Cynthia Appiah because of the start. Yeah, she got crushed at the start of 2400s. That should be 7200s at the bottom. Best speed, though. Yeah, here so we go. She can reduce that. Well, the way they're going at the moment, Canada looking as though they may qualify the maximum number of sleds for women's monobob. Yeah. And that could give them a three-fold medal She's shot. Coming back, Martin. This is going to be a top yeah. three, maybe. Right on Laura Nolta. Oh, there it is. Uh, tied with Laura Nolta. <laughs> exactly yeah. tied. All right. Good comeback. Best speeds on the yeah. bottom. So she she had a lot of time to think about her disappointments of the World Championships in Mount Bob here last year. And she took care of all those cobwebs with a really great time. Seventh best start. Same start as Kaylee Humphreys. Look at the speeds. Canadian sleds. Best yeah. speeds. De Bruyne, the best of the field. And clean. The crossover, 11 and 12, the two most imposing, challenging curves, small curves on the planet. No problem for her. She accelerated out of there. Well, she was so clean in one, two, and three. That's where all the speed comes from, yeah. or rather, where it goes away. Next up, Andrea Grecu, 27-year-old Romanian, 11th in the world. This is her ninth monobob race, the most of anybody in the field. Did six races last year, plus the World Championships. 
Innsbruck didn't seem to be quite on form, 15th and 14th. Let's see what she's got here. Former break woman, so she should have a decent start. Knowledge athlete of, the, of all the athletes in the field. And she had a 27 last year, so probably 31 this year. Start. 18. Six, wow. 18. Eight. That's her best start of any, and nothing last year. Oh, I'll take that back, Mark. She had a 19, 13 the final day. First run, she had a, the Royals last year, she had a 627. But this is much better. Nice and smooth early on, no bumps and banging. The All 500's 500. back. Yeah, but with that start, her start point, the fifth best start, she shouldn't be that far back. But good line there. Kind of speed, eighth best speed. Well, Everybody's using the same sleds built in Bavaria by a high-tech company, Itsense, but you can use different runners when the runners are all from one source, but it depends what you choose on the day. And like tyres on a race car, they can make a big difference. Pretty smooth lines, and eighth place eighth. ahead of Alana Myers, Taylor and Mariama Yamanka. She'll take that. A couple of Olympic medalists behind her, a couple of world champions. She'll take that. Paul Niegu, the coach. Yeah. Long time coach of the Romanian program. And she makes it all the way to the paddock area. Yep. Up top in the labyrinths. This is climbing high into nine. Ooh, that looked too high there, Martin. Yeah. And, and then the exit of that. Well, look, she she? She, look at that. She yeah. comes down, and then she goes back up. But watch the line. Yeah. Look at her duck her head a head away. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the straightest lines we've seen so far from anybody. So next up, the first of our two Chinese athletes in the field, Wai Ming Ming. Like her teammates, did not race outside of China. So although she's got monobob experience, she's had none on this track, was not in the Worlds last year. It's only her third Monobob World Series outing. 23-year-old, sprinter background. Mm, trouble. That's the last place you want to have any contact with the wall. Six hundred back. Everybody's going to make the cut, Mark. Ooh. Unless you're disqualified, <laughs> crash. And not bad. Uh, doing pretty good. Yeah. Tenth play at best pace of the tenth fastest start. 140 back. She's looking to be about 13. She could get ahead of the Russian. 13th. Yeah, yeah, she does. Barely. By 11 on 69 ahead of Lubov Chernik and Ashley Werner. Well, she improved enormously in the two weeks in Innsbruck, having not driven a monobob there at all. 20th in race one, 10th in race two. That's a big deal. It is, actually, isn't it? I mean, that's a huge improvement. But it course, does we don't show. Know how how vague it is in these sleds still for a lot of the athletes how hard it is to be consistent martin that's worth 15 or 20 hundreds right there also don't like she's sitting up too high look how high she is. i can't believe they haven't got her down lower in the cowling of course they're just worried about her learning the sport at the moment by the time i bet you by the time we see her at the olympics we, we won't see her sitting up that high in the sled well and that'll be a track she knows well you know altenberg what do you want to do Give her another hundredth of a second or get her down in one piece. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's the latter. So there is your leaderboard after the first 15 sleds. Now we get to our third Russian athlete, 23-year-old Anastasia Makarova. Three races last year. The best was a sixth-place finish in Winterberg. 13th and 20th in the two races in Innsbruck over the last couple of weeks. Finished in 19th place in the World Championships. And again, after the 15th sled, little track hold while they sweep the snow out of the straights. Yeah, 
Yeah, she had one real bad run. Her third run was the 23rd spot. The rest of the time, she was 17, 18, 19. The other three heats, Martin, and uh, about the 16th best start. She got a 45 in the world. Should be an improvement over the 645. Gets in nice and neatly, 646. 46. And so that means she's half second down, half second just yep. sitting down at 50 meters. The leader. Four, 40. Oh, big wave as she came onto four. Well, again, there's an awful lot of athletes that won't have much ice time on this track, John, and precious little in these monobob sleds as well. So maybe just getting it down is going to be key for some of them and getting the points. Yeah, I think and everybody's just a long way at... back. She's squirrely, real yep. squirrely here. Yeah, survive, survive, survive. This is where the survival instinct cuts in. Get it down safe. This place has a fearsome reputation. 61.58. So she is in 12th spot ahead of Katty Bile, Wai Ming Ming, Lubov Chernik, and Ashley Werner. Well, it was kind of wild. Especially up there in that down. Omega curve. <laughs> yeah. You know, it. You're, you're a tenth of a second late on the take on, and suddenly it looks like a big deal. There you Bang go. There's a big too wave. Much. Just yeah. be patient Drove it there, down. young lady. Yeah. And then here, boy, the, that's what the, all the sleds used to look like coming through there before they <laughs> yeah. made that great change. And yeah. Ends Morgan's and said he's going to, her over. They're going to make more changes, they say, to down to 13, yeah. 14, too. Ying Ching of China, two very different colored handles. So a glimpse inside the sled tells you whether they are left to right or right to right. Again, first races in Monobob World Series were in Innsbruck, 24th in race one, 17th in race two. So like her teammate, big improvements after an extra couple of days of training. 28th, eighth best start. Martin, I noticed there she ran a long ways. Then, you know, she was the eighth best start, but she had the seventh best velocity. Maybe that extra little run gave her a little improvement. And boy, she's got some issues in Omega also. Yeah. Too much steering there. Well, John, she's had two days at this track, and she's had to do monobob oh. and the women's bobsled. So six runs in total. So how many total runs has she got down out in Bird? Maybe three. Maybe four. Watch out here. In this sled. Boy, there was a lot of Robin Hood in that sled right there, Mark. Yep. Again, same deal. Get down in one piece. Very good there. Then, yeah. That's There's part very of the track. On your head. Made it. That's what I'm sure what the coach said up top. Well, Absolutely. Well, I'm teammates. sure that's one of her teammates. A watered down version of what she was saying as she got to the final. <laughs> Straight. 61, 61. What's the Chinese word for woof, made it? I, I'm I sure don't know. That's the first thing she thought of. Yeah. Look at the back end of the slide. That's just yeah. steering in the wrong pressure point. And that's not how to do it. And she gets away with it, though. They're bouncing around, yeah. leaping off the ice as she came down out of Chudai. Well, one done, one more to go, and then women's bob tomorrow. Martina Fontenev of Switzerland, ninth place in the World Championships. Four races last year, second, third, eighth, and ninth. But this season, 21st and 22nd in Innsbruck, didn't make the cut in either race. Boy, her start time, Martin, last year was a uh, 6.31, and now she comes out with a 6.42. Didn't do so well in the uh, Innsbruck event. No. And again, and at she Innsbruck, was 11th if, if, if you don't have that start, John, you are naked, aren't you? Yeah, 
11th in the, in the test event in Beijing. 16th best start, John. She's got the 9th best speed. She's got the 6th best speed. She may not be the fastest starter, but she can still drive a sled. Yeah, she's hanging in there. She's going to be a top 12, 11th or 10th. 10th place of the line, maybe. <clears throat> she is ahead of her teammate, and that is the key thing here. When we go to the games... But her teammate beat her be... by 22 hundredths at the start. When we no. go to the games, four nations will have two sleds, John, and then a dozen will have one. So it may be that only one Swiss pilot gets to go monobob. And right now, Men Hassler has got all of the, the best finishes in Innsbruck both times. Yep. And also, she had second on the in the Beijing track, you know, at the Yangqing Sliding Center. And so Maria, I think, is on the outside looking in, and, let, and she needs to... Beat her and beat her convincingly because it's a point system, Martin. I'm sure they're going to go according to points. Yeah, it'll be on the IBSF rankings, which includes all the North America's Cup races, of which there have been several already, and the Europa Cup races. So it's not just about the ones that we see on TV. Third monobob race for Giada Andreuti. She didn't do any last season, not official races anyway. So Innsbruck was her debut in this form of sled, 22nd and 23rd. She was behind Martina Fontenev in both of the races. Now, anybody who crosses the finish line will get a second heat today. So that will add to her experience of this track and of these sleds. I think she had a DNF in uh, training, Martin. I don't know, I would have been in the woman's two-person sled, but yeah. I can check. Didn't race here in the World Championships either, so knowledge of Altenburg is very limited indeed. Well, you've always got to start somewhere, but you don't always have TV cameras watching your every move. Let's see what she's got at the getaway, 663. And this, I think, will be all about getting down in one piece. Well, the Italians have always raced red sleds, Martin. You see an Italian coming down here on this black sled. You know, red for that Ferrari color. Yeah. Well, it is bare carbon, so it's yet to be red. Yeah. And there's the first one to the Chudai. Rolls it off nine. Well, back up. Comes back That's up. These sleds do. Now, does, yeah. she have the, does she have her hands on the D-rings? She's oh, amazing. Managed to keep herself in the sled. The driver hangs onto the D-rings and buries themselves under the cowling. The question wow. is, does she want another ride? You've got to learn. Well, She's face come back from the crashes her, before. Her face yeah, mask. Visor. Look at her visor, has gone. Yeah, face mask. Yeah. Visor. So 67-2-0. Now they're going to have to catch this sled. It's not going to make it up. The hook, or she's going to go backwards. Yeah, she knows well, enough. She's going to try and stop it. Yeah. Check her out, though. This yeah. is the doctor right Good there. Good presence of mind from Giada Andriuti. And it's the exit of the nine. Oh. Watch the spectators jump back. The photographer is living his dream. Yeah. Look at that. Well, she was worried about the exit of nine and brought it down just a little too early because she was worried about the exit of nine. And then here and are look the at these pictures. Look at her back there. She, you saw her helmet, Boom. and then all of a sudden, bang! Now oh. what does she do? She's laying down. She's laying down on the sled. Now she's, she's also forced back by the G-forces, but she's hanging on to the D-rings. Look at her reach. Look, she, she, yeah. look at her hands. She was oh. reaching back in to find those D-rings. Sensation. Well, she still had them, but she was steering because she's in the Chrysler, one of the most dangerous corners on the planet. And her, her visor is off. I bet, her, I bet her eyes are if running. She, if she goes back up. Yeah. I bet her eyes she are does. running. She goes back up, she gets my vote. Yeah. Phenomenal pictures of what an athlete does to rescue themselves from danger there. Cynthia Appiah, well, it was 
untidy at the top, but after the start that she has, she still came fully lit down the track. She is our first heat leader. Has not yet claimed a Monobob World Series medal. Will this be the first? Yeah, she beat up on Kelly Humphreys by 24 hundredths at the start. Only beat her by a 14 at the bottom, right? And look at the Canadians. First, third, fifth. Talk about a race within a race. Two sleds will go from the best nations. So one Canadian won't get a second shot at a medal. And that's what they're all aiming for. Kaylee Humphreys lies in second. Lara Nolta tied for third. Are we going to give away more than three medals here? You never know. And all 19 sleds down. Giada Anjouti. I wonder whether the coaches will let her go again. She looked like she was OK. And she's come back from crashes in the first heat before in women's bobsleigh. Well, that is it for the first of our two heats. Our second, we'll be back at 10.30 local, 09.30 GMT, 04.30 Eastern, which is in just under 40 minutes from now. Let's go.